If you're sleeping seven or eight hours, still waking up tired, foggy, feeling wiped out, that's not normal aging. And it's not because you need more willpower or better supplements. It's because your body is waking up all night, even though you might not remember it. Most people think that sleep apnea is about stopping breathing, but the real issue is instability. Your nervous system doesn't trust your airway, so it keeps interrupting sleep to protect you. The interruptions are called micro arousals. You don't fully wake up, but your brain pops out of a deep sleep again and again all night long. And deep sleep is where real recovery happens. No deep sleep, no restoration. You go to bed tired, you wake up tired. Sound familiar? What's really happening here is that breathing has become unstable. Your carbon dioxide rises, the airway starts to narrow, the nervous system senses threats, so your brain says, nope, and it pulls you just barely awake to restart your breathing. This can happen dozens or even hundreds of times per night for some people. You wake up thinking you slept because you were in bed for eight hours, but your nervous system never powered down. Most sleep studies focus on events for hours, apneas, oxygen drops, but they don't measure sleep fragmentation very well. So people get told sometimes, good news, your apnea is mild. Sleep apnea isn't just a sleep problem. It's a 24 hour breathing regulation problem that shows up at night. When breathing becomes calmer, slower, and nasal during the day, the nervous system becomes quieter at night. If this resonates, watch my free masterclass link below. I break down how daytime breathing patterns create nighttime sleep disruption and what to do about it. In the next video, I'll explain what actually happens right before an apnea or a snoring event. This is Apnea Unmasked and you're just getting started.